Welcome to your week five weekly energizer. Let's get into it. So far, we've been having a ton of fun. I see you all out there working. It's amazing the amount of miles, steps, and how much ground each one of you is covering. I see you working the plan, and it is so great to hear you all out in the hallway, around the hospital, and out in the community talk about how things are going and how much fun you all are having. This week, we caught up with Dr. Christopher Merrin, sports medicine physician with Kettering Health Medical Group right here in Hamilton, Ohio, to learn a bit more about listening to our body and when is an injury an injury and when maybe is it tricking us. So let's go ahead and get into it and hear what Dr. Merrin has to say. So Dr. Merrin, what if I do get injured or are there other things that I can do to, uh, to kind of exercise that maybe aren't the walking that maybe I do have a, a, a slight knee injury and I just need to rest up a little bit. Are there other things I can do? Yeah, um, one of the my favorite ones is actually getting into the pool. Um, it's a lot less stress on your bones, but you still get the muscle movement, you still get the joint movement and mobility. Um, the stationary bike is a great one. Uh, definitely, if you're having some knee pain, that can very, that can be very helpful because uh, it keeps your cardiovascular system going, mm -hmm. but you're not putting that impact on your joints as much. So even if I am injured, should I keep moving and over? Keep moving. So keep moving. Find different ways to, to keep on moving. Um, like I said, pool and bikes are, are great ways to mm -hmm. do that. So about how long is typically a good length of time for an exercise to be? Uh, so the recommendation from um, at least my colleges are 30 minutes. You need to be having about 30 minutes of moderate act activity um, five to six days a week. Okay. Um, so 30 minutes is kind of the good goal to go for. And that's a lot of what the, this program does is getting your out, getting your heart rate up for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. so. so on the days when we have the run walk and it may say 10 minutes or 17 minutes, add in some walking on either end to kind of gradually ramp up, do the exercise and then gradually cool down. Yeah. Your warm up and cool down. Yeah. And then do Perfect. some of the stretching that Dennis talked about, uh, as we kicked off this, this program, but really helpful. Thank you.